All right, guys, we're back again. This time, a little second part. If you watch the turn of the wings and the tail and the legs, now we're doing the head. So this is obviously for artificial heads, especially on ducks. Um, just working on my daughter's first duck here, a little blue wing hen. So let's get into it. Nothing left to it but to do it. So, uh, the moment I'll start along the top in the V, because um, I'm, I'm generally tr not cutting towards the head as much, um, mainly because I don't want to, uh, this is a pretty good angle, I'm trying not to, I mean I'll, I'll go this way a little bit, um, kind of at least get it started, and then it's more of a kind of wedge action a little bit. I don't want to cut too much this way because then you, you just leave too much room for uh you know making nicks and then rips and you know it's fine if it's an intentional rip like a relief cut i think i've put in the video like when you cut uh um when you make a cut on a mount when you're pulling it up you it basically the cut is going right here so not not at the bottom v and not at the little v kind of on the bottom of the mandible here um, you can make like a little quarter inch cut and then that'll allow it to uh, slide on the head so you have to have clay and everything else on there. So anyway, so I'm just kind of starting it at the back points and just kind of working it in there, going along the feathers in the, in the uh, bill. And Generally, I'm trying to just cut it. And like I said, then once you kind of get the cut, you can work your fingers. Um, I'm trying to keep it as clean as possible. It's kind of hard, but I know for you too. Um, but I don't think there's going to be demonetation problems, so. Uh, start here. And same thing, I just, that's kind of just, I'm kind of going underneath and I'm kind of pulling up as I wiggle a little bit, and so I can kind of control the cut without, uh, and so like I said, I'm just underneath and I'm kind of just working it back and forth. Um, for here, get the feathers down, and then here I'm kind of just cutting. I want to keep this little flappy part. I want to kind of cut around that, use that as a guide. Um, I mean, you can keep it on the skin, but uh, so I made I made one cut here, right? Because right at the bottom there's a little V, and so then I at the beginning of that last cut, kind of just pop in that other side of the V there, and then I'll kind of hold down the bottom V, and now I've got this little bit of skin right here by the bill. I want to just kind of get that cut, and then that way I can kind of use my thumb and then work it away, work it away from the bill. So hopefully that's, so now I'm just, like I said, I've kind of just worked it away, nice smooth, uh, transition there. So then here I'm just kind of using my thumb to uh, keep working the skin back. Because once you make your initial cuts, then, then it's just a matter of uh, following the skin line. You know, use your thumbnail. You can use borax too. Um, so right here, right, I didn't cut. So what I'm going to do is work my knife from this side underneath. And then I'm just kind of going back out that top of the V. And then that way, that's leaving a little bit of that bill skin on there. And that'll help keep it uh, from ripping as easy. And that's kind of the name of the game is you don't want to lose a lot of feathers. You obviously want the skin to be in a similar. So here I'm starting at the bottom. Going up to that part of the V. And then I'm kind of working along the... Well, uh, I can't, the name escapes me right now, but I'm just kind of using it as a guide to cut around. And you, I was going to say you want it to obviously be able in the same shape as the artificial head. That way the gluing part, everything matches up uh, and you don't have any problems. And it's good too, and I was going to, you know, I was just thinking like, when you make your own molds with the silicone, like in the one video, or you know whatever it's it's really good because 
uh, and I'm just kind of using the knife to get it back just a little bit so I have something to kind of put my thumb against. Um, same thing here, I just go on the top, kind of, so I'm not, I'm not cutting it, I'm just, I'm just kind of breaking it free. Um, but I was going to say, you know, it's like, you know, everybody's going to leave a little bit of a difference, not too much, I guess, but when you make a, a, a cast head, say I made a cast head of this blue wing hen, um, the next bird I skin is going to be in an almost exact same manner. So the, the shape and the fit of everything should, should be good because, you know, you're going to do things a similar way. And if you're the ones making the mold, because I've seen some molds that have like, uh, you know, eyelid, not eyelids, but like places to tuck the eye skin and, and just some kind of random stuff like that, um, that I, I don't know how you'd really use it, but, you know, maybe it, the way he skins it or something, but so here, I'm trying to get it all, so, I mean, I'm not doing anything major here other than just keep folding it back. I know the eyes are coming up. Um, keeping the bill open, you can also, if, you know, if, if you want to make it a little easier, you can stuff something in there just to kind of keep the, keep it open a little bit. Um, because when it's stretched out, you're going to be able to see the skin a little bit easier um, than when it's closed. And so then you can see kind of where to cut. So I'm just kind of like working it down here, just making sure, um, you know, I'll, I'll flip one little area back with my thumb and see if there's any places to cut. If it's kind of not, I just kind of keep working around in a circle, basically, until I get to the specific time where... Uh, it'll actually fold over on itself, and then once that happens, then the rest of it's super easy. So I'm just working. I know the eyes are coming up. Um, generally on that, because you know, I can now I can feel where the uh, eye socket's starting. So I'm just trying to kind of work it with my thumb, at least back to that point. I can see here's the top of the orbit. Um, I'm going to cut a little bit. I said always cut with the edge of caution here because you'll cut and you'll start seeing the eyeball, but then you're like, well, you know, where do I need to cut, um, you know, exactly to make sure I don't obviously cut the eye, the shape itself, and also to have skin. So I just kind of keep, uh, you can kind of see, see if this will focus maybe. Guess not. Let me see if it'll. See if this will focus. Because all I'm trying to do here is just get. Uh, let's see if that'll work. It's a little bit better. I'll just try to keep it in this exact position here. So I'm just cutting uh, the skins right here, so, but I'm trying to cut a little bit ahead of it. As I pull, I can start to see the eye coming out, um, and I just want to cut until there's no film above that eye. And what that's doing is, is that's now the skin, you want to be able to see the eye itself, then you can still cutting, still cut along as you pull, but then now as you keep cutting, uh, the skin is working itself away from the eyeball. So I said, just kind of once you get, and then I kind of make a you know circle, so I can kind of roll it. Now, once it's rolled, um, once it's rolled down the deal, now it's exposed. So now we're good. So then what I'll do, see if we can. So now we're rolled. So then I'll just get uh, keep some tension. So I can see the eyelid here, so I'm just I'm just want to cut the film, and I can see the you know obviously the film. Um, you have to kind of dig in a little bit right here at the at the lower, the bottom left side of the eye, um, against the bone. But even here against the film, you want to just cut. You can go ahead and cut uh, straight towards the bone, because you're going to have to do that to kind of get it to actually separate. 
So basically right here is where I'm kind of finishing that cutoff uh, to release it from, release from the eye. Then down here, the ear hole's coming up, and I can kind of start to see the shape, the you know, V-shape going. So I'm just always staying at the top. You're going to notice a hole up here, and you just kind of cut straight through. So same thing here. I got film. I'm now I'm kind of cutting against the bone um, to start kind of releasing it. And I'm always pulling it. As long as I can see that little eye ring, and I'm cutting on the other side of that, then you're going to be good. So then I just go here. I keep, oh, and you know, all of a sudden hole popped up. That's the ear hole. And then now, if everything is pretty free and clear, I do my little squeeze again. And there you go. And then from here, we already have the wings. So obviously, this is a small duck, so like a pinky. I'll try to get it up in through there. And... So I just want to turn it inside out because obviously the next thing would be some shot damage. Um, if you need kind of, you can always kind of work some pliers or tweezers or whatever through here. And obviously I'm not squeezing hard at all. I'm just just trying to get it to kind of go the, the right direction. And once you get to a certain point, you can always kind of just, and it'll pop out, kind of flop it around. So, but yeah, that's about it. So we scan. Got to see that. Uh, there's the, there's the V. Our cut around there. Everything is pretty solid. Um, we got a little bit of extra skin along the eye, which is good. You can always. It's always better to have it. And then I can easily just scissor it off like that. No big deal. Always better to do that than have a big hole. And then you're trying to set the eye, and it's all bajankety and and then pretty much the main areas to flesh would be uh, along the top of the head and then obviously any of the rest of the stuff. But anyway, that's, uh, that's it. And then from here, um, I would take, say I was going to mold it, I would start at the back of the head. And I want to kind of go straight across because I do want the esophagus and some of the lower parts in the mold. Um, I'd make sure it's closed. Freeze it take it out. I'd screw that into the cardboard or whatever. Um, now it's frozen. I would take a paper towel right after I get it out of the freezer, wipe that condensation off best I can, and then start applying the silicone with the foam brush, you know, sticking the nozzle, uh, sticking the nozzle into the nostrils, you know, working the nozzle into the crevice, make sure it pushes up in there. And, you know, we've already done all that in the video, so no reason uh hashing up the same thing so anyway that is uh that is all so again hopefully it helps and um next step for this is fleshing um at some point i'll probably do a video on it i mean it's it is gross like it is it's definitely my least favorite thing um but uh you know then i'll get this in the wash and still got to make some other parts or whatever but um this is now fully turned and ready to go on from here. And basically this is what the skin looks like. This is what the skin looks like when you go to mount it, obviously except clean and you know all the meat's gone and, and fat and everything has been washed. So, But essentially this is the, the foundation for it. Boy, it's, she really got it good. It's still 20 gauge too, it's kinda, I mean it was close, I guess. It's like, man, it's just gonna be sitting so it's not, not anything big, but anyway, guys, hope you had a good season, and I'm going to post both of these here in a little bit. Any questions, let me know, and that's all, folks.